Watching your boyfriend play Spider-Man will make you feel like Mary Jane. The woman I've loved since before I even liked boys. A couple months ago when the game came out, he was so excited to do whatever a spider can. Like shoot webs, climb up walls, and solve slow, tacked on puzzles. And now I'm so excited to do whatever a Mary Jane can and write an article about how much fun my boyfriend had being a superhero. So this won't be a review of Spider-Man. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Spider-Man. This isn't about you. This is about me. Spider-Man for PS4 is my favorite Spider-Man movie. The plot, voice acting, and cinematography had me glued to my boyfriend's TV like... <laughs> For the first 10 hours or so, even the basic gameplay was unusually captivating to look at. The way the camera operates and the seamless integration of quick time events made the combat look like a choreographed movie scene. There's also just something hypnotic about the way Spider-Man swings around the world, leaping off rooftops and diving right into a crime scene just in the nick of time. Watching my boyfriend do all these impossible, amazing things had me looking at him like, Wow, am I dating Spider-Man? But then he handed me the controller, because he had to poop or something, and said, just hold R2 and go that way. That's when I realized that while traversing the world, the character kind of moves by himself, and my boyfriend wasn't expertly planning every swing. Now I was looking at him like, Spider-Man, more like one button man. And so the mask was ripped away from Spider-Man PS4, revealing its true identity. An open world arcade where you swing to whatever type of game you feel like playing. There's beat-em-ups, time attacks, and slow tacked on puzzles. But if your boyfriend is a completionist like mine, the game is mostly a collect-a-thon. Watching someone collect backpacks and pigeons isn't exactly the most thrilling evening. And not to nitpick, but this seems pretty early in Spider-Man's career, so did he like lose a backpack every single day since he's become Spider-Man? Who is paying for those things? Poor old Aunt May? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent. Doesn't she have, like, homeless people to feed? I, I can't take this. You can, and you will. And some of the places he hid them were really not that great. I think one of them was just, like, on a dumpster. You're telling me the garbage man didn't see a book bag cocooned in a giant web? If you saw that in real life, you'd be like, <laughs> The news would get involved. So, oh my gosh! They'd lock everything down like the end of E.T. Then they'd look in the bag and be like, Oh, it's Peter Parker! Peter Parker Spider-Man! So for me, the main quests in the story are where the game really shines. I love the relationship Peter has with everyone. I've never believed how strong his connection to Aunt May was before, and I'm amazed that a video game has changed how I feel about those characters forever. You helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. This version of Peter Parker is truly the best iteration of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in and out of the costume. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... But he is also the ugliest. I'm sorry, Insomniac, I love your game, but some of the bugs were really gross. I mean, isn't Mary Jane supposed to look like this, not this? And speaking of Mary Jane, I can't tell you how many times my boyfriend rolled his eyes and said, I didn't pay $60 for Mary Jane PS4. And I agree. Watching him go from catching thieves like flies to like avoiding cardboard boxes was just a mind boggling downgrade in entertainment. He actually felt the same way every time he had to solve one of those slow tacked on puzzles. But to be honest, I liked those parts because I could actually help. And when I saw the solution before he did, I was like, I'm something of a scientist myself. So. To wrap this up, I highly recommend watching your boyfriend play Spider-Man for PS4. Unless you hate superheroes. Or backpacks. You guys were so excited about this channel and we can't believe the love we've gotten from YouTube and Reddit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh we are definitely going to be uploading at least once a week, so leave a comment to let us know what games I should watch my boyfriend play. We really want to do Breath of the Wild or God of War, so let us know which one we should do first.